I wanted to do today a video about Papi Sauvage, my first collection with an Estelada. Best memory I have of a spring is when I used to go to South of France, taking the train from Paris to Avignon, watching all the fields, the fields of weeds, the fields of flowers, of poppies. It's such an incredible, vibrant color that I remember when I was seeing all these fields. They really like this bright orange red. That was really incredible. And I thought this is the most feminine color mood I've ever seen in the name. It's very, very inspiring. Then I started to have my color mood in my head. And here you have all my babies. First baby that was created is Poppy Sauvage, the lipstick. And what I love about this color is that I really wanted a red, what I call a fire red. Something exactly like French poppies that is super bright, super luminous. It's orangey red, but it has a tiny, tiny bit of blue, not to make it like too orange. Okay, then we have four eyeshadows. So two matte one and, and two a shimmery. And then it, this is a dual chrome that turns from gold to pink, depending on where you look at it. And I was really inspired from the weeds that turns into almost a bit pink when the sun goes down. So you see it's changing. The color is really like what I call a light. And the rest is this one that is a sort of like a golden bronze with tiny 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 pink shimmer just to make it more fresh. This is like a beautiful gorgeous nude and then like a beautiful brown chocolate color and I mean it's not as warm as chocolate. And the other one is like what I call a sort of caramel color. It's an eyeshadow too, but I use it as well as an highlighter. That's why I wanted it to be bigger. So maybe I can show you actually this highlighter. I'm just like patting on the highlight zone. And you can see right away compared to this, like it's much more luminous. One thing I created to enhance this even more is La Rosé, the soft glow, which is really like a skin texture. I'm gonna pat it on top of all the highlight zone. It's only like a targeted spot, like here, inside the eyes and here. Voila, so this is really, really one of my favorite products. So this is a Geo Blush to create a number. I love to start with nude and then go with the pink. That's a nude one. So you see it's a bit peachy, just right here. So sculpt just a little more. And if you want to use it like, if you're pretty light, you can use it as a bronzer or just even like as a blush, it's super nice. And the other one is a, it's a beautiful pink. So I love these two colors together so much. And then what do we have inside? This jumbo eye pencil. So this is actually what I have on my eyes right now. This is beautiful brown with some copper uh, shimmer in it. And it's super easy, but it's also very long lasting, but it's easy to blend. So as soon as you put it on, you can blend it and create like a smudge smoky eye. But it's a good base actually, because for example, I love to add pink with the lips. So you see it's very pigmented, very easy to blend. And I just follow the shape of my eye. For me, it's a poppy look. Wearing pink eyes with beautiful red lips. Another trick is I can apply La Rosé on top of it to make it more wet. And it makes it a bit transparent, which I like, because it's more subtle. It's like I have a light of pink in my eyes. Then I want to show you so easy. It's the perfect nude with a touch of pink. It's sort of a beautiful nude with some, like a dark pink, but not super, super bright. And for this one, I like to keep the eyes with the top or color. Just to show you quickly, like you can also even like go really high to create more like, like a smoky effect. The same here, so I don't look crazy. And a little bit on the bottom. And now I'm gonna apply this top or. So it's super luminous, super simple. And again, always with all the products, you can use La Rose again and put it on top of your eye makeup, you know, more romantic. And now I'm gonna show you the last lipstick and it's the last product. It is a Vin Noir lipstick. And this one is Vin Noir. And the reason I call it like this is because it's a wine color with a little bit more of red fruits in it. What I love to do with this color is to blend the edge. Like I've been kissed, so it's a little bit more romantic. So for eyes with this, I like to keep it more natural in my eyes. So I'm just gonna remove the nude. Do it just maybe have a little bit of the brown by my lash line. Well, now guys, that's it. So I really hope you're gonna love it because it's really for you. I did it with all my heart. So you all my love. See you for the next collection very soon actually.